Hi friends, today I am going to cover deployment strategies with real life examples which is going to be useful for the beginners. Not just this video, you can also have a look on my other videos where I covered IAS, PaaS, SaaS, private cloud, VNet migration strategies with the real life examples to make it simple for the beginners. Without further delay, let us jump into our today's topic. So these are the various uh, deployment strategies usually the DevOps or the architects follow for any production movement. Reckless deployment, rolling upgrade, blue green deployment, canary, watch and in place, all at once deployments. I'm not going to cover all these in the real life examples video. However, if you want to really go through all those strategies, I have covered in my other video. Here it is deployment strategies cloud on premises you can go through this video to get to know about all those strategies but coming to our today's video i'm going to cover blue green deployment and canary with real life examples so in the blue green deployment strategy assume that your organization have one office now they are trying to move to the other office for various reasons now they don't just simply move that office to the other one there is some background work like configuring setting up the entire building with what of the requirements we have so assume that the old building is a v1 the new building is a v2 version so when you want to go it into the v2 first you will set up everything and you will try to test it with a few people and if it is all working fine then automatically all the employees will be switched to the new office so similarly here you have a v1 version and then now v2 is ready which is made it ready by the developers now you can't switch your production traffic to v2 directly rather first you will set up everything all the environments in the v2 for the v2 and then you will test it after the testing it will be switching to the v2 version all the traffic will be moving to the v2 version however it happened in the office environments so in the simple terms sim spin up a new separate deployment for the new version without affecting the current one test the new version and once ready start routing users to the newer version coming to the canary deployment same example like v1 v2 and same offices here also so you have a old office and then you are setting up a new office that is a v2 just to make sure that everything is working fine if you switch all the teams at a time to a new office something could go wrong all the work may get impacted so the best approach is okay switch team by team maybe in a first go you will switch 10 teams to the new office all working fine then you will switch next 10 teams subsequently you will switch all the office staff from old office to the new office the risk is low here because first to go only 10 teams are being moved and then everything is working fine then the next team is coming if not if something is going wrong in the new office then those teams will will be coming back to the old office so it is going with the chunks the risk is very low eventually the traffic will be completely moved to the new newer office step by step in a sequential manner same way if one of your team is building a api or api platform now if you just deploy all the APS to the production and you will reroute the traffic, something may go wrong. Rather, first you will switch few of your traffic or few of your users to the V2 version and you will continuously notice or monitor both the versions how that is happening. If the V2 is all going fine, you will slowly switch all your traffic to the V2 version as it is shown in the picture so deploy the new version into the production alongside with the old one carefully controlling who gets to use a newer version 
monitor and tune the experiment while gradually expanding its population. In the real time, the best example is like maybe if the Facebook is deploying new features or new APIs, they don't they want to publish the newer version to the certain countries. Maybe the first go will be the US. If everything goes fine, they want to stretch to the other countries as well, based on how the feedback and how the results are coming. So then they'll maintain two versions. V2 will be available for the US. V1 is still be available for all the older, uh, I mean, for all the other countries. Then if V2 is all going good, then they'll slowly switch to other countries step by step process. That is the best example uh, for any company it can be applied. Thanks for watching my videos.